I don't really trust the media because from what I've heard, they lie a lot about everything. Do you trust the mainstream media? Why or why not? Um, I primarily don't trust the mainstream media just because, like, uh, like take this Baltimore thing. Like, I feel like it, the riots wouldn't be as bad if the media didn't cover it so heavily because people there, I think, just want to be on the news a lot and stuff. And um, really, I don't trust the mainstream media, but uh, that's why I listen for other um, news sources like that. Uh. With my experience, I feel like any mainstream media anywhere, whether it's online, at CNN, Fox, wherever you go, it's uh, they're all gonna have, all of them are gonna have a skewed answer of things. Actually, I don't trust the mainstream media to tell the truth. I think there's a lot of propaganda and stuff that happens. You know, I think, um, I think, well, to, to give an example, I think that Ebola thing got blown up during the uh, the thing that happened in Missouri to kind of quiet that down. So I think the media does use a lot of propaganda techniques and stuff. You know, to just give the public what they want and to keep our minds like wrapped around certain things. Do you trust the mainstream media? Definitely not. I know from all my classes, I know that media manipulates and twists all the information that they get and receive just, I don't know, to get more prints or get more money. No, I don't trust the media because they uh, they turn the story a little bit every time it's told. Um, I trust the mainstream media. Um, I trust mostly the mainstream media because my, the mainstream media for me is like the CNN and the news things that I'm really looking at. So yeah, I do trust it. No, I do not trust the mainstream media to tell the truth because they're just trying to hook our attention. They don't necessarily want to give us the real facts. Um, I don't really trust the mainstream because they kind of just want to tell us what we want to hear more than anything else that I've noticed, so. Oh, absolutely not, because the media basically persuades the public to sympathize with a certain group of people, and so far with a bunch of different stories, I mean, there's flaws in certain um, elements of it, so it's kind of hard because you have to take a step back and try to research from different perspectives and not completely full force believe the media and probably help the people that were actually in the event. I I think it's biased for sure, definitely biased. Um, I don't really listen too much of it to be completely honest because I don't believe the media and I don't feel that it really relates to my life currently. So I do not trust mainstream media to tell the truth whatsoever because they just tell you what you want to hear. So they'll tell you one thing to get your attention when really there's a bigger problem going on. Great. Um, is there any stories in particular that you feel like the media kind of dropped the ball on, or are they ma maybe the truth has never come out? Um, I don't know what the truth was behind it, but JFK. I, <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> I definitely think when the whole Ebola thing was going on, there was something hidden underneath of that that no one ever led on to because it kind of just disappeared one day. Like there's this huge hype on like everyone's getting sick, and then one day it was gone. So I think that was just a cover up for something bigger. I trust that the media is trying to get the message that they want to get out there. I don't believe that they're, um, that they're broadcasting for the sake of integrity. I believe that they're trying to get a message or their agenda out there. So in a sense, I believe that they have stories with some facts in them, but I don't believe them entirely.